Road to GH will reveal captivating twists and turns on Tuesday, November 18, 2024. First Ava and Lucas, after months of tension and conflict, have finally found common ground. Despite their differences, they realize they must rely on each other to face the legal and emotional turmoil surrounding them. However, standing together cannot erase the immense pressure they are under. Molly and Christian, in the aftermath of losing their child, have filed a lawsuit against Ava, accusing her of being directly responsible for the child's death. They claim Ava's negligence, or possibly intentional actions, led to the tragedy that shattered their family. This legal battle is not just about compensation, but an expression of the unrelenting grief and anger of bereaved parents. On Lucas's side, he faces a lawsuit from Alexis, once a close friend, blaming him for Sam's death. Alexis alleges that Lucas, through negligence or some action, contributed to Sam's tragic demise. Their already strained relationship is now pushed to the brink, potentially beyond repair, by this intense legal clash. The situation worsens as the entire Davis family unites to file a lawsuit against both Ava and Lucas. They assert that the pair's decisions and actions set off a chain of events leading to the family's devastating losses. This lawsuit is not just a legal assault, but also a manifestation of long-held resentment and fury. Second, Lulu awakens after a prolonged state of unconsciousness, a miraculous moment amidst the darkness. Initially, there are faint movements of her hand, igniting a glimmer of hope among those around her. Her fingers tremble as if trying to reconnect with the world. Gradually, her eyes flutter open, slowly, hazily, but it's clear she is regaining awareness. Laura and Lucky stand by her bedside, holding their breath as they witness the moment. When they realize Lulu is truly awake, emotions overflow. Laura clings to Lucky, tears streaming down her face in a mix of relief and joy. Lucky, usually composed, is overcome with emotion, bowing his head and gripping Lulu's hand tightly as if channeling all his love and strength into her. Lulu, though still disoriented, recognizes the radiant eyes of Laura and Lucky. She moves her lips, attempting to speak, but the words don't come yet. For Laura and Lucky, Lulu's awakening is not just a sign of new beginnings, but a testament to the enduring love and faith they have held on to throughout the ordeal. The world feels brighter again, illuminated by Lulu's first gaze upon returning. Next in Port Charles, a somber day envelopes the town as the community gathers for Sam's tearful and heartfelt funeral. The church, modest yet solemnly adorned with white flowers, symbolizes the purity and hope Sam brought to the lives she touched. The mournful strains of music echo, mingling with the shared sorrow of those in attendance. Sam's family and friends are present, each bearing an indescribable grief. Jason, her former lover and confidant, stands silently in a corner of the church, his gaze distant as he recalls their memories together. Though he strives to remain stoic, the anguish etched on his face, betrays his struggle. Danny and Scout, Sam's young children, cannot fully grasp the gravity of the loss, but the sorrowful atmosphere around them signals that their mother will never return. They cling to Alexis, seeking comfort in her embrace. Friends, neighbors, and even acquaintances who barely knew Sam, come to pay their respects. They remember her as a strong, resilient woman full of love and compassion. She was a guiding light, a fierce advocate for justice, and an irreplaceable member of their small community. As Sam's casket is carried out, the weight of the moment intensifies. Quiet sobs echo throughout the church, and some break down into audible cries. The farewell is not just an expression of grief, but also a profound acknowledgement of the impact Sam had on their lives. Port Charles has lost Sam, but her memory will forever remain in their hearts. Finally, Alexis sits quietly in a corner of the church, clutching a photograph of Sam as though holding on to it could preserve the last vestiges of her daughter's warmth. Her eyes, swollen from endless tears, continue to shed more as the pain of loss grows heavier with each passing moment. She struggles to accept that Sam, her beloved daughter whom she had nurtured and protected, is now gone forever. Molly and Christina, despite their frequent disagreements, set aside their differences in this moment of shared sorrow. Standing close to Alexis, tears stream down their youthful but grief-stricken faces. Molly, typically the calm and logical one, 
is unable to mask her pain as she watches her mother in despair. Christina, usually impulsive and fiery, now silently holds her mother's hand, attempting to provide comfort even as she battles her own heartbreak. The three remain wordless, yet Molly and Christina's presence provides Alexis with a faint glimmer of solace, reminding her she is not entirely alone. The sisters place their hands on their mother's shoulders, conveying an unspoken promise to endure this overwhelming loss together. In this moment of despair, the bond of family becomes their strongest anchor, helping them navigate the indescribable grief. Though her heart is shattered, Alexis silently gives thanks for Molly and Christina's support. She knows that while Sam has departed, her love and memory will endure within the family. Together, they will face the difficult and tear-filled road ahead, united by love and resilience. Thank you.